Hello and welcome to the Nesquik Imagination Station. Today we're going to disguise ourselves with this really cool tiger mask. It's really fun and easy to make so everyone can get involved. Before we start, you'll need to find some paint, some string, paint brushes and a pencil, strong glue, double-sided tape, scissors, a braddle, fun foam card and a paper plate. Make sure you have permission before you use these things and adults you may want to help with the slightly tricky bits. So the first thing to do is get your paper plate and we're going to draw on the eyes. Now you may need to have some help to find your eye line and once you've done this I'm going to get the braddle and I'm going to make a hole in one of the eyes, a nice big hole and then I'm going to cut very carefully around the eye. Adults, this is the bit where you may want to help. Now this can take some time, so I've already cut mine out to look like this. So now we get to add the detail to our mask. Tigers have beautiful big whiskers, so I've got some card and I've drawn out some large whiskers and you need to cut these out, but take your time so it looks nice and neat. Okay, so these are the whiskers here and I've put some double-sided tape on the back so I can stick them onto my mask and I'll stick those on here and now I'm going to add some ears and I've also put sticky tape on there as well so I can peel that off and stick them on underneath and the other one and then with the fun foam I've cut out a nose in brown fun foam and I'm going to stick that on with strong glue and I'll put that in the middle. Now we've got to make the holes so that we can tie the mask to our head so I'm going to get the braddle and about halfway down your paper plate you want to do a hole so pierce it on one side and again on the other make sure they're even and then you're going to get some string and tie a knot in the end of the string and then thread it through the hole. And you're going to do the same on the other side. And there we go. Now for the really fun part, we get to decorate our tiger mask. So I've got some paint here and I've drawn out with a pencil first my detail so it's easy for me to colour it in. So I'm going to colour around my pencil. You may want to look at some pictures of tigers so you get an idea of their markings and colours. So I'm going to paint around here. And tigers have beautiful dark detail on their faces so I'm going to get another paintbrush and with some black paint fill in where I've put my pencil and take your time with this because it'll look really good at the end of it you want it to look like a real tiger so remember to add the detail to the ears and to the mouth and here's one that I made earlier which is really cool now we can go prowling around as a tiger but let's have a look at some other animals so we can get an idea of different masks we can make If you've loved making this tiger mask, then why not check out all the other things you can make and do at the Nesquik Imagination Station.